All right, guys, it's time. The metal in my electrolysis tank is completely gone. Um, this happens after a few years of using them. So today I'm gonna show you how to take it apart and redo it. As you can see, there's nothing left underneath here. Uh, the metal basically just dissolves. So this is all trash. So the worst part of this process for me anyway is getting the water out because I can't move this by myself. So we're gonna fill the bucket a few times. You can dump this outdoors. Just be aware that there are gonna be rust particles in it from the stuff you've cleaned. And there's also gonna be some oil from the stuff you've cleaned. So don't put it somewhere where you've got plants or anything like that. Um, I luckily have a hill that's mostly sand and gravel, so it'll kind of filter itself out and I can shovel the junk off the top. So yeah, I don't think this bucket's gonna work. I'll have to get a different one. Scrape all the sludge off the inside wall and get it out of the tank. Here's what's left of the anode on the bottom. So we'll get the rest of this water out of here and put a new one in. And this is what the bottom of a tank looks like after about a year of working. There's a lot of rust down there and a lot of oils and foods and anything else that came off of the dirty cast iron. So now I need to scoop this out, rinse the inside, and we're ready to go. All right, guys, follow me here. You don't need anything fancy. It's just gonna get disgusting. So what I've done is taken a sheet of steel. I bent it as hard as I could, slid it down in. It's okay that this side's not covered. Um, if you do have a full sheet, do that. I'm just gonna use this until it's gone. And we're gonna put a board right on top. Super simple with a hook, like I've always done. So just a board across the top of this. I'm not even gonna cut this down. It does not have to be pretty. It does not have to be fancy. It's just gonna be just like this one. So your board goes on top, your negative cable goes on your adjustable eyelet, and then you've got a hook of some sort to suspend whatever it is you're cleaning. So we're gonna fill this up and add our washing soda. It is a quarter cup to every five gallons. Once you've got some water in the bottom, you're gonna start adding your super washing soda. This is the brand and box you need. 50 gallons is gonna be two and a half cups. And there is all two and a half cups. And we're gonna make sure that this gets stirred up really good. We are literally ready to go. You don't have to do anything else. Fill it up, piece of metal, something to suspend it on, something to hook your negative cable to, and this is what you hook your positive cable to. Then you just suspend whatever you wanna clean and go to town. All right, so here's the maiden voyage. After we got her cleaned, we're gonna put a spider skillet whoop, down in there. You just wanna make sure whatever you're suspending does not touch the anode on any side, and then you're gonna hook up your positive cable on the anode and your negative cable right here and you'll immediately see bubbles starting that is a good sign that means your electrolysis tank is pulling current and working correctly about a eight amp seven and a half eight amp draw that's all you need for an electrolysis tank 55 gallon barrel a sheet of steel you need a piece of wood water washing soda an adjustable eyelet, some kind of an S-hook or hook you make to suspend the iron, and then a manual battery charger. That's it.